Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do these beautiful uh, lobster boats this morning from Gloucester. Uh, the important thing to look at here is, see, this is a very traditional composition where you have this big dark shape in front of that very light shape, which gives you that sense of distance, and it's, it's very beautiful, but pay attention to that. All right, we'll start with a wash of, uh, I wet the paper first, but now I'm putting a wash of quinacridone rose on the whole thing. I'll let that come down a little bit. And then I want to warm this up. So you can, you can make choices here of your own as far as color goes. You know, you could use a risen yellow and then put rose over that, or you could put rose and then put a risen yellow. Uh, I've decided to, to go with uh, a much warmer color, which is uh, quinacridone gold. It's, it's very rich, but you know, the problem with this is it all dries so light, so you really got to load on, really got to load on the paint here. Uh, I, whatever you want to choose here, I chose the quinacridone gold and just put a coat on that. I'll let it run and let it mix by itself. I got a damp brush here and I'm just lifting out a little bit of paint on the, it's not the horizon line, it's where the water meets the, the land back there. Uh, we have the city of Gloucester in the background. I added this schooner to make it a little more interesting. <clears throat> it's not in the photo. And I also added uh, the Gloucester Town Hall in the background. So you'll see that as we go along. All right, I added a little uh, Quinac, I'm sorry, I added a little bit of the uh, ultramarine blue to that mix to get this uh, rosy gray color. You know, it's co the color is in the light. So the light is hitting everything here and it's hitting this, uh, the whole city of Gloucester in the background. So there's a little bit of a rose tint to it. All right, so I'm just painting that, uh, the shape of the land back there around the schooner. That's the Thomas Land and sailing in the back. You can tell by the sails. All right. And now I'm going to put the city hall in. You know, it's an iconic building. It's very beautiful. And a hundred years from now, if someone looked at this painting, they would know it's Gloucester just because of that building, not because of the sailboats or anything. They can, you know, guess at it, but that City Hall makes it Gloucester, makes it very appealing to Gloucester collectors and so forth. All right, you're gonna go along the top of that uh, shape that you made and create you know, a, a skyline, some buildings, churches, steeples, you know, just a bunch of uh, square shapes, you know, house, house shapes and so forth. Let it go, spray it, let it come down. And I added, you know, I took some, uh, ultramarine and mixed it in to get a little bit darker and I'm just spotting it in there. I'm not, don't try to paint anything. This is all going to merge and dry together and it'll be very interesting. Create a nice sense of shapes moving and so forth. It, it really is, it adds a lot to it. All right, just doing a little detail around the ship. Okay, you'll see all that dark color merge and just, just spot it in there. Oh, it'll get so soft and so forth. It'll, it'll really look good. All right, we're going to do the dark shape now uh, that you can see that the city has dried up. It's much lighter. And this is ultramarine with quinciana to get the black, to make a black. But then I added a big hunk of rose to it. And as we go along, I'm going to paint some red in there as well. And the red will really warm that dark up and really it more or less combine, you know, join the rose color. It's the light bouncing everywhere. So when you paint this, I want you to see all those boats, all that rigging, all that stuff that scares you and you say, oh no, you know, it's all one shape. It just paint one shape. You know, if you want to leave a little bit of light here and there, no problem. We're painting around, there's a, there's a boat in the front that's white. We're gonna paint around that boat. This black right here is in the interior of the boat. I'm 
Okay. Now this that's the that's the cabin and all that. Now we're getting into the the actual back of the stern of this lobster boat. And I have a little bit of a tilt tint to tilt to it. You can see that. It's tilting and I think that makes it a little bit more uh, interesting, a little bit more fun to have a little bit of a tilt instead of just a flat horizon. Okay, so if you're right-handed, you're going to begin all this rigging. You can see this red now. I just loaded it up, call it charging the color. And it'll really warm up that dark and then merge. It'll all merge right into that dark so you won't see any edges or anything. It's just bouncing. You're creating this bounced light, you know, the reflective light bouncing everywhere. And it warms up that dark so that it's not a big hole in your painting, you know. All right. Okay. So we'll do this rigging. If you're right-handed, you'd start on the left. If you're left-handed, you'd start on the right just so you don't smudge all this stuff. Now all this is, think about it, you're all just painting straight lines. You know, if you want to use a straight edge and that helps you, please do. You know, don't try to, you know, you're not trying to paint everything in that photo. You're just creating a bunch of straight lines and then after you get the lines in, you can add rigging to it. You know, a little bit of a bump here and there, some, you know, a pole coming up, a wire, ropes, all this stuff you can add on once the rigging is in. So it's just a bunch of straight lines for now. There's a piece of, piece of brace, you know. And then on the top of each of these, you're gonna have some sort of a stop, you know, either a, another piece of pole going up or a piece of rigging, a flat, you know, something flat topping it off. All right, take your time and just enjoy this. It's, you can see it's just a bunch of straight lines I'm putting in there, all right? All right, and what I want you to notice is this, uh, this black shape has a very flat edge there. And that edge, we want to make sure, you know, we break that up. Uh, we don't want that sharp edge against the light water. So. Once you get it in there and you establish it, you want to put, you know, a little bit of a, just little objects, you know, little pieces of junk that are sitting on the top of this or that, and, you know, part of the boat, piece of rigging, piece of uh, sonic uh, equipment, you know, radar or whatever. See that, just that little piece of bump there, it breaks up the, that straight, hard, straight line. That's what you want to do. Some good practice here doing these <laughs> straight lines. It's a lot of fun. Take your time with it. So you do the straight line, then you add a little bit here, a little bit there, a uh, little piece of junk hanging on there, you know, a, a line coming down, you know, a pole, a piece of equipment, a piece of bracing. You know, you don't have to explain everything. Just, you know, it's just a bunch of junk. But it's very important to these fishermen. You know, everything here is being used. You know, they need help when they're out there. It's, it's a dangerous spot. And they need this equipment to hoist stuff into the boat and to, you know, put the rigging in and out of the water. It's, uh, it's, quite, a, it's quite a profession. You do all of it to get those McDonald's fish sandwiches, which are really good, by the way. <laughs> All right, keep going until you're happy. Don't try to, don't try to copy the photo. Just you know, keep going and add anything you want, anytime you want. Nobody's going to come over here and inspect it and tell you that doesn't belong. You know. You need it in there, and it's all part of that big dark shape, you know. Okay, so there's a pole with some little equipment on here and there. Piece of radar equipment, 
another little light the antennas you know see that you want to break up that dark shape that dark edge against the light water All right we have a hoist here on the boat this is a you know a little hoist to bring in the, the traps or anything you know any kind of heavy stuff they hook it up and just hoist it into the boat it's really really interesting all right so we want to go back and look at all your rigging and you know anything that looks strange just you know add a little piece of rope coming down okay see how you're just breaking up that edge between that dark shape and the water I am putting in a dark boat back there. It's a Thomas Lannan. See, it gives it a secondary point of interest. You know, you look back there and there's a, you know, a schooner and you take some dark, dark paint and go along the edge of the water there, putting in, you know, some, some wharfs, some buildings, you know, any kind of shape. Uh, and then you can sort of you know, just we'll bring that up a little bit. All right, we have this. We have this boat on the right. I'm sorry, on the left. <laughs> we have this boat on the left, and we're going to put some detail into that now. Yeah, a couple of windows. Yeah, just look at the photo and, you know, you can see the, these are all windows in the cabin where the captain sits and is able to look out, you know, and then there's uh, more equipment there, more windows, different size windows, makes it more interesting. And then there's some trim on the boat itself. Another piece of trim. And another piece of trim on the very bottom of the boat. And that, that actually goes underneath the boat into the bottom of the boat. All right, that's the water line. All right, we have a couple of tires that are, you know, they act as bumpers when, when the boat comes into a dock and they want to bump up, you know, bump up against it. They just throw the tire over the side and the boat bumps into the, without damaging the boat. All right, so a little of that. Now I look at that boat and I can see, you know, uh, there's a, it's too light, you know. So we want to bring that. This piece in the back there that's uh, probably been replaced or installed where they, they bring a lot of the hauling up, you know. <clears throat> All right, I'm just putting in a very light wash of uh, the rose color. <clears throat> that's the rose mixed with a little yellow. Just want to bring some shadow on the boat itself. shadow under the details and this one just going to create some just some light bouncing creating some shadows and so on. all right all right so if you take I, I i it's easier if you do this with a flat brush i got a little flat brush here putting the ripples in the water uh, so you come down and just a lot of horizontal shapes, you know, reflections come straight down. Don't, they don't tilt or they come straight down from where they are. All right, I want you to notice here, and I'm, as I notice that, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, foreground of this whole painting is way too light. You know, it's, there's a basic uh, 
premise, you know, uh, if you want to create distance, it should go from the top of the painting, it should be dark, the middle of the painting should be light, and then the bottom of the painting should be dark. So you have a, you create a sense of distance. And I'm going to need to go in there and do that <clears throat> when this dries. It, I should have done it earlier. It would have been easier, but it's fine, as you'll see. All right, we're working on this, uh, this shadow of the boat coming down. And, you know, it's, you're just putting it at heavy and then a little bit looser on the edges. And it goes all the way across. Just keep it nice and horizontal. And then if you want to put some, uh, you want to put some other rigging that's coming down, you, you certainly can do that, you know. But the base, the big, the big shape of the dark is horizontal because the ripples are horizontal in the water and that's what is creating that. Okay, sorry, so we'll bring, bring this a little bit further down. You can kind of change the value of that by just adding some water to your to your color. Take your time with it. You know, it's it's a it's a little bit tedious, but you, it's it's a beautiful part of your painting. So you want to put some spray on it. All right, uh, you can see I'm putting in some that has the dark paint is dried already. So I'm putting some of this rose color in. This is the uh, quinacridone rose mixed with a touch of the uh, quinacridone gold. And back there, I'm using a lot more water, so it's a lot lighter in the, in, the, in the middle there as it goes back. And that's what creates a sense of distance, adding a little bit on the top of the sky. Bring that down very light, but it's, it's darker at the top. And you can see what a difference that made already. You know, all right, we have a boat. Uh, I dried it off, and now I'm putting another boat on the right. Just a piece of a boat that's sticking into our painting, but it's very important because it creates a beautiful sense of a path that leads you into the painting out to that schooner to the city. You know, it works beautifully. Uh, so it's just a piece of cable. You know, again, just draw the straight line and then you can add some, you know, you can add some rigging to it, some cable that's wrapped around it. And, you know, it's so much stuff. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun painting on the docks, you know. You, you just see what these, uh, what these fishermen do to, to keep things going in their boats. You know, it's all, a lot of it is band-aids they need to do while they're out there in the field. You know, in the ocean working. All right, just creating this sense of a boat here on the right, Queen Aquidone, uh Sienna with ultramarine blue. And again, we're going to add some red to this and really bring it forward. If you look over at that fishing boat in the middle, you can see how that red has dried and made a beautiful glow, beautiful warm glow in the middle of that dark shape. It really is nice and it really adds a lot to it. All right, so you don't have to explain anything here. You can, people know just by, you know, the cables and the shape of things there that that's some kind of a boat or something, okay? You can see I loaded the red here into the dark. You want to load it into that black and it'll really add a lot. All right, I'm going to put a few more ripples here. <clears throat> Same colors, you know, just the uh, rose mixed with a touch of the gold. And I'm going to get lighter and lighter as it goes up towards the center and darker and darker as it comes down. So you can do that by adding you know, a little more pigment here, a little, a little more there, a little more water as you go back. All right. All right, I picked up a little bit of that gray now. And I'm just adding it, not trying to paint anything, you know, no shape. I'm not painting a shape of anything. I'm just adding some hits and misses on the, 
you know, on the background. It looks like buildings, you know, it gives you the impression. So anyway, I love doing this. I've done it a couple of times and people keep asking me for it. So there it is. And I thank you so much for joining me and enjoy painting this. I appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon.